Hello, hello. It is August and we decided we we're going to do Yankee Doodle. We haven't been here since March, so we're a little curious to see what the water level's like. The canyon's changed at all. We've had quite a bit of rain in the last few weeks, so we're going to go get some. All right, so we're going to try a different initial rappel into Yankee Doodle. This one is a free rappel, I believe. Isn't it a free rappel? Yeah, almost the whole thing, I think. And is it, what, 70 feet? Um, yeah. I believe it's 70 feet. We generally start on the right side here off that tree, but there's bolts on the left side. So we're going to go off that for a little different experience. So let's go over there and get that set up. All right, so typically we we go off this tree and stretch the rope, but we're going to go off this and go off this edge here. And that's way down. And it looks like there's pools of water in there already. So we didn't bring wetsuits. Uh, I just brought a shark skin. Jen's going to go commando. And we're going to see how it's going to be. So we got a 200-foot rope, 100-foot rope, and a 40-foot rope. We're just going to leave the 200 foot off this and then we'll carry the rest of this rope just to make it easier with the shorter lengths. All right, I got anchor set up. I think from this part of the cliff here, it's going to be a free rappel after this lip. And I see marks in the rock there. Okay, people go off it. There's already rope grooves. Rope! Oh, yeah. Yep, that sounded like a drop there. All right. Let's get set up and get down this puppy. So I'm gonna go down first and uh, I'm gonna use the VT Prusik as an auto block and uh, see how that goes. Using a different diameter rope, we're gonna use a 9-2 inlay today. And so uh, just trying to figure out the wraps because it's all different on different diameter ropes. You just kind of got to feel it out. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, it's a free one. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love it. All right, I'm gonna put a little extra friction on that there. Big old pool of water down here. Yeah. Wow. So normally we come down this chute here, but I thought we'd try this differently. I'm gonna repel right into that tree. So that's 70 feet from that right there. So. How's my VT holding up? Real good. Now that is a cool rappel, first rappel. Check that out. Wow. So that's definitely a different way to start Yankee Doodle.
tree. <laughs> okay. Sweet repel. All right, we got gin coming down now. That's definitely, I think, a more interesting way to start Yankee Doodle than to shoot here. That was cool. How's your auto block doing? The rope was twisted when I was coming down, so I was doing 360s the whole way down. Oh, really? Yeah. If I start doing that, I don't like that. Okay, looks like you're going to start. How's the auto block? Good, everything's really tight. Good. A little easier when you get it on the top instead of the bottom, huh? Yeah. See, right about where you are now is where we start the rappel on that chute. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. What do you think, 90, 100 feet from the, from yeah. the bolts? Well, I'm, I'm looking at the halfway mark right here and I got probably another 10 feet of rope. So it's probably 110 feet since it's a 200 foot rope. So yeah, let's, let's leave it at that. 110 feet from the bolts on this, this rappel. Oh wow, you got bats coming out of the crack there. Uh, I think we are gonna be in some water. Yeah. What do you think of that? That was pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so we're gonna leave the 200 foot rope here and we'll get it on our hike out. And the middle point of the 200 foot's right here. So we're thinking 110 feet from the bolts. Yeah. Uh, at this point, we're just gonna get everything situated and head on down. Standing water already, so we're pretty sure we're gonna get in some deeper water. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this out to uh, the waterproof backing so the audio is gonna be muted. Apologies, let's get going. All right, I switched to Neo gloves just because I anticipate water and I don't feel like getting my other repelling gloves wet because they're leather, blah, blah, blah. So let's get moving now. See what we encounter. slide down this here. Is there going to be any water down there? Looks muddy. Sweet. Love the mud. It's dry. All right. slick oh yeah nice and muddy sweet
we have water. All right. How's that warm water? Chest high? Alright, well, fuck it. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, that's definitely cooling me off. That's some fun smelling shit there. Definitely cooling me off. For sure. Quite refreshing. <laughs> nice soupy stank water. How far down we got on this one? So we got a piece of uh, 40 foot rope and uh, most of the repels in here, we can use that one. There are a couple that are a little bit longer, but um, for the most part, it's coming a lot handier than having to deal with longer rope. So, whatever makes it easier, right? You're just going to that first stone anyway. Yeah, it's on the bottom. Oh, you deep. Yeah. <laughs> How deep? Touching it all? <laughs> All right. What? Okay. Okay. All right, looks like it's going to be a deep one here. Ah, it's gonna be cold. Alright, I'm 
tiptoes now. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. about refreshing, invigorating. Tasty soupy water on my mouth. Hey, that was fun. What repel is this? Four? Four? Slide down to this. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, I'm touching. Whew. Chest high right here. Swimming. Well, the water's not too bad, so the wetsuit would just be a hindrance. It's actually quite refreshing. All right. That's a little slick slide. Fun in the pools? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels great actually. <laughs> Glad we didn't bring the wetsuits. This is our pothole right up here. Here, see what this is going to look like. Frog. Nice.
I'd touch knee deep right there. Oh, it's bath water warm. <laughs> oh. Chest deep here. And it ain't cold. <laughs> All right, let's see how low this is. Well, it's right at the lip, really. Okay, I'm still gonna have to do a little pack toss over that. Yeah. Okay, is there anything on this? Get down. Nope. So, I'm gonna get this rope through here. This is a really awkward drop into this. So I'm gonna go down and you're gonna drop packs, okay? Whoa. Go ahead, throw it. What do I do with the next one? Yeah. And the rope? Okay. All right, I can't touch right here. So. Well, I mean, I could swim over there and untie the rope bag, but it's just easier if I use this. So come reach on down and grab that. You got it? Grab the rope. And then step down that that uh, dip right there. I have to stand on this edge because it's overhead immediately after it, okay? And you're going to, you get that rope? I'm trying to tuck in over here. Yeah, just come down right here. So you can stand right there. Okay. Just slowly. Am I standing on your foot? Yeah, it's okay. You good? Yeah? Okay. can touch actually on my tiptoes. You don't think so? Uh, it's not gonna hurt. I won't tie it. I'll just kind of thread it through it and toss it. Because it is there's a ledge right there, you know? It's a little slippery. Come on, you son of a bitch. Uh, okay. Huh? Yeah, I'm not. Okay. Rope's good. Actually feels pretty good in here.
Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, it feels great. Yeah. That's it. Yankee Doodle completed. All right, so we started Yankee Doodle with an alternate rappel, which we figured to be about 110 feet. Sound good to you? Yeah. Yeah, sounds That's good. From the bolt, that is. And uh, wow, no wetsuits right here, end of July, August. And uh, it's actually quite refreshing in the water. It wasn't very cold at all. A couple catch of breath moments, but other than that, it felt really good. And we're out, and we're going to try this this alternate exit here, uh, up the the slick rock. See if we can make it. There's some some holes, foot right there. Um, if not, we'll just walk around the corner and hike out. So, either way, that's it. And uh, thanks for watching. D Rock out. Yeah. See you next time.